Tykes. My name's Kathy, and welcome to Tykes for this morning. Have you ever had to wait for anything? Maybe a special day? Maybe you've been waiting for the COVID restrictions to ease so that you can go to the pool or see your grandparents or see your family or your cousins. This is something I have to wait for every year. These flowers only come out once a year. So after they die off, I'm gonna to have to wait a whole year before I can see them again. Well, today we're going to be talking about John the Baptist. John the Baptist had been telling everybody about a special person he was waiting to see and expecting to see for a very long time. And when John finally met him down at the river, he was overwhelmed. Let's watch this video and see who John the Baptist met at the river. Come and see the baptism of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who's the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. This is John the Baptist. Hey! John loved God with his whole heart. Hey, all you. And he told everyone that the savior of the world was coming soon. Wow! Come on. John baptized people in the Jordan River. Woohoo! And one day, Jesus went to this river to be baptized by John. Hold on. But John tried to talk him out of it. Jesus said, it should be done for we must carry out all that God requires. Eh, okay. So John baptized Jesus, and as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened and John saw the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove and resting on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me great joy. And John knew, without any doubt, that this was the one they had all been waiting for. This was the chosen one of God who would take away the sin of the world. So John the Baptist had been waiting for Jesus and they were actually cousins, but John was not excited to see Jesus because they were cousins. He was excited because John knew that Jesus was the Son of God and the Savior of the whole world. John was busy baptizing people and baptism is a special ceremony that we still use today to show others that we love God. When John baptized Jesus, he knew he was baptizing God's Son. And did you notice what flew in when Jesus was baptized? It was God's Spirit. It came down like a dove and filled Jesus with God's Spirit so that he could do everything that God called him to do. Let's go inside and make a bird to remind us about how God came down on Jesus and filled him with power. Hi, so we're going to make a bird to remind us that the Holy Spirit came down upon Jesus after his baptism in the form of a dove. I'm going to get my girls to help. Tali's just got some glue, so we're going to need some scissors, some coloured paper, some glue. Okay, and we're going to put Talia's hands here and we're going to trace around her hands. So you might need mum or dad to help you. We're going to need two hand prints. And we're making a bird to remind us that the Holy Spirit came and filled Jesus after his baptism. And the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove. Okay. Then we have to cut out the hands. Talia, do you want to get another pair of scissors and help me?
Thanks, Tali. So now we've got two hands and we're going to glue them together like this to make the wings of a bird. So this is the bird Talia and I made to remind us that the Holy Spirit came down on Jesus after his baptism in the form of a dove and the Holy Spirit filled him with power so he could go and continue his ministry. This is another one I made also. Now the Holy Spirit can fill us with power too. Let's pray and thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank God that Jesus was baptised and filled with power. Dear God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit and we thank you that he came upon Jesus to give him power. We thank you that that same power is available for us today and we pray that we can live in the power of your Holy Spirit so that we can be witnesses for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a great week and we'll see you next week in tights. Bye for now. We are going to the beach, we are going to rock and roll at the beach, and the first thing we're going to do is surf a little bit. So you ready? On your surfboard! Everybody goes surfing, we're going go surfing. One more time. 